It was supposed to be the happiest day of Gladys Rickert's life, her wedding day. Here she's seen sharing a loving moment with her mother. Then she's with her son Davis, who was to walk her down the aisle. Next, Gladys is handing each of her bridesmaids a bouquet. Then terror. Out of nowhere, Augustine Garcia, Gladys' is on and off lover for seven years, storms in and opens fire. Everyone runs for their lives. Gladys does not make it outside. She falls to her death in her living room. The tape is then played again in slow motion. In the bottom left hand of the screen, you can see Garcia's hand holding the gun, pointing it at Gladys. Then Juan Riekert, Gladys' brother, attempts to wrestle a gun away from Garcia. The first time the tape is played, Gladys' niece, who was in the wedding party, had to be escorted out of the courtroom. The terrifying images are just too much. The second time the tape is played, the jury is present. They look on as a sobbing Augustin Garcia is consoled by his attorney. In Bergen County, Sherry Hensley, News 12, New Jersey. Did you have any intention of killing her? No, I love her. I can't kill the person I love. I would give my life to her. Augustine Garcia says it was the shock of seeing Gladys Ricard in a wedding dress that pushed him over the edge. Garcia testified about the weeks before Gladys's death that they had sex in his North Bergen home at least three times the week before she died. Even the night before Gladys was to marry another man, Garcia says the two were together in his bedroom. We started doing massage on each other, romancing, having, doing what people who love each other do. Garcia maintains he had no idea Gladys was to marry another man the next day. He testified she told him she was going shopping. Garcia says that day, Sunday, September 26, 1999, he was on his way to an art exhibition when he drove by her house and saw what he thought was a celebration. Garcia says when he got out of his car and walked into Ricard's home, he was attacked by her brother and son. It's all, all like one on top of the other. It's like stepping, get punched right away, like with a brick very hard. I land against the wall. Garcia says he was trying to defend himself, and in the course of that struggle, the gun he was holding went off five times. Gladys Ricard was hit by three bullets. During his testimony, Garcia began sobbing and had to be let out by three guards. But on cross-examination, the prosecutor grilled Garcia about his relationship with Ricard in the weeks before her death. The prosecution contends Garcia knew Ricard had broken off the relationship to marry someone else and that Garcia was stalking her. Isn't it true, Mr. Garcia, that you followed her to the path mark and approached her in the parking lot of that store? It is not true. Guilty of murder. Is that unanimous? Yes. Augustin Garcia shows no emotion as the verdict is read in court. With their decision, the six-man, six-woman jury rejected the defense's claims that Garcia shot his former lover in a heat of passion as she prepared to marry another man. Gladys Reichert did not lead any secret life. She was not still romantically tied to Augustine Garcia. She was looking forward to a new life with her fiancé, James Preston, on the day that Augustine Garcia shot her to death in the living room of her own home. Gladys's family members say they've been waiting two years for justice. Today, they feel vindicated. Today, we are here to let everybody know that all the lies that were told for two and a half, two years and a month, it's over. She was everything for us. But now we have to start a new life without Gladys. I'm very sad because I caused you pain and you, I love you. Words of remorse from Augustine Garcia to the family of Gladys Ricard. Garcia told her family he hoped God would show them the truth of what happened and give them peace. The fact that, that I took Gladys life, when in fact I would have traded my life 1,000 times for her. But Gladys's niece, who was with her aunt when Garcia burst into Gladys's home and opened fire, says Garcia isn't sincere. I would think pitiful life is not worth my aunt's life. While Garcia is a conniving, selfish liar, my aunt was a completely selfless, loving, compassionate woman. Garcia's attorneys pleaded for leniency, calling the killing a five-second mistake. The prosecutor says Gladys was simply trying to start a new life when Garcia shot her while she posed in her wedding dress. 
The judge blamed jealousy and obsession for Gladys's murder. He sentenced Garcia to the maximum based on the horrific event that was caught on tape. I find it hard to believe of anything more heinous and cruel to a family than to see their loved one killed in front of them in her wedding dress. Gladys's brother Juan says he isn't overjoyed about the sentence handed down to Garcia, but he is satisfied justice was done. I would be happy if I could see my sister alive. So whatever the judge did was the right thing. I need to know when you start going out with the tail. You ask the question. You cannot. You vas a a destruir la relación, Agustín, porque si tú no me dices la verdad, la relación se terminó. What is your emergency? Uh, I have a, I have a dent in my ear, trying to break my window. You know this person? Well, he used to be my ex-boyfriend. We finished, I finished with him about three months ago, and he's breaking my window, because I don't want to open the door. He's outside now? Yes. Okay. He's, he's breaking my window. All right, we'll send somebody right yeah, up. Hurry up, because but, I'm yes, afraid of him. Um, we were both there on the day that she was murdered. He did it in front of our whole family with no regards to all the people he was hurting, only thinking about himself, and that's what we're standing up against today.